on behalf of the group, Deputy Gerard Button, one half minute, take the rupees. The first duty of any government is the protection of its own citizens. And it's often said that terrorists can never win. But this is not true. Terrorists can win when a sizable number of the general population sympathise with their long-term objectives. For example, in the United Kingdom, the IRA terrorised and murdered its way into government in Northern Ireland. Few would be publicly prepared to admit to supporting the terrorism of the IRA, but plenty are willing to vote for Sinn Féin, its political wing. The current terrorist threat comes from Islamic fundamentalists who want to establish a world caliphate under Sharia law. We have told that the vast majority of Muslims are peace-loving and non-violent, and I accept that is true. But the majority are not the problem. The minority are, and they all follow the same religion. The teachings of that religion, if taken literally, are totally incompatible with democracy and Western civilization. We face a massive problem in combating fundamentalist ideology in our societies. Last month I said here that the first step in doing that was to stop once and for all all further mass immigration from Islamic countries. The EU's policy to allow millions more migrants from Islamic countries is nothing short of playing Russian roulette with the lives of our citizens.